How's it going everybody? So today I'm going to show you guys how to win post plant situations without ever firing a shot. We're going to start off with post plant Molotovs on every single map's B site. And here in a couple of weeks, I'll make a follow up with the A sites. But before we get into all that, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. So Skins Monkey is an automated CS2 trading site that provides an instant way for you to get new skins. All you have to do is select your old skins that you don't want anymore and then pick out some fresh ones to trade for. It's as easy as that. And right now you could get a free $5 if you use code tactics on the site. And finally, you could get up to a 35% deposit bonus when using my code. So thanks again to Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. Links in the description. So let's go ahead and get started here with Vertigo. So anytime the CTs are diffusing on the default plant position, a lot of times I'll see players going all the way back here into this corner and doing a simple left click to right where this wire intersects with this steel beam here. And that is gonna go all the way up here. And what makes this one so good is the fact that it generally will spread up here towards double to where if it's planted for double, they can't stand behind it and diffuse, right? They're gonna be chunking here. So that's what makes that one pretty decent. The only downside to that is the fact that you are very, very exposed. If you're standing in a position like this, it's very easier for them to peek you if they're coming up over on this angle. It's, it's not the best position to be in if you're going to be throwing post plant utility. From right here, most Molotovs that people know are kind of the default molly where you aim somewhere around here, but this one goes quite a bit too deep as you can see. You know, it's still going to catch this area, but hey, it still leaves double or any of these plant positions open as well, and sometimes it does not consistently spread as well as that one did. So what I've found is one that will cover every single plant position. And so all you're gonna have to do is go all the way into this corner and you're gonna find this line right here in between these two bricks. A good way to reference it is you kind of find this shadow here where it's in half and just go up to here and do a simple jump through. And that is gonna bank off the sidewall and it's gonna molly off the entirety of site leaving absolutely no gaps in any position. It's gonna get every single plant position on that site. So there's no way that they're gonna be safe from while they're diffusing. Now moving to overpass, the easiest way to stop the default diffuse is by just coming back here in water. Maybe you're playing, you know, post plant from back here, you're in a clutch. And all you have to do is just make sure you bank the Molotov off of this piece of sheet metal here. So as you can see, as long as I can see the sheet metal, I can just aim up, have it bank off of there and boom, that is gonna molly off that default plant position. Now, the one issue with that is if they've smoked you off, which happens quite often, right? They'll just kind of smoke you off here, um, whether it's shallow, whether it's deep, whatever it may be, you're not really gonna be able to see that metal grate all that well. Now you can kind of reference it from time to time, um, but if you don't wanna risk that, an easy way, uh, kind of an easy alternative is you can just go right here into this corner and just jump throw at the top right of this section of the board right here. So just into here, and that is gonna bank off the side here and fully molly that position off yet again. And if you're weird and don't like either of those lineups, you can go back here into this corner and you can do pretty much that exact same thing and just do a jump throw right here towards the top right of this area of the board. And that too is gonna spread and fully molly off this default plant position. Whenever I'm in a post plant position on Inferno, a lot of times I end up back here towards church, especially in a clutch, right? And if I'm on this side and they're not pressuring me too hard, it's pretty easy to just bank a molly off of this building right here. And that's pretty much every single time gonna fully molly off that default plant position. I threw that horribly and it still managed to spread and molly that off. But if you're ever getting pressured, right? And a lot of times I end up kind of wrapping behind them if I hear the CTs pushing on the side. If I, if I start wrapping behind them, I end up in this area quite a bit. And believe it or not, you can just go back into this corner and you can go up from the top of the B, there's a brick right here. The top of this brick, just go all the way over to the right to this little design thing. I don't even know what you would call it, but just do a simple jump throw right here. And that's gonna pop straight down and completely molly off this position. This is also really good for CTs to be able to stop the default plant. On the flip side of that, if you're ever in a post plant position here on Banana, a great way to deal with that is just by going into this corner and you can find this pillar right here, right? And there's this little lighter colored divider right here. You can just do a few steps and then do a jump throw and that's gonna pop all the way over here and fully molly off the diffuser just like that. Now that is a very forgiving lineup. You can just take a couple of steps and it's gonna hit no problem whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can take a bunch of steps. You can run almost all the way up to this wall and it's still gonna hit pretty much the exact same. So it's very forgiving. You don't have to worry. I know sometimes people struggle with those run throw lineups, but hey, I think you're gonna be able to pull this one off. Now moving on to Anubis, a great way to stop the default plant position is if you're playing back here. Now this is a super safe angle. You can be tucked all the way over here to where even if they peek you, they're not gonna be able to do it. And then whenever you're ready, you can just go into this position right here and simply go up from the top of this guy's head kind of into this. There's this line right here, this bottom line on this divider. So you go from where this guy's head would be up to here and do a W jump throw. And that's gonna pop straight down and that's gonna fully molly off both the default plant position as well as this other 
other plant position here, um, only on this half. So don't rely on it stopping a plant if they've planted in the middle, because they could always just diffuse from the other side. But the best part about it is this molly. Now, the visuals on it, they, it doesn't look like it spreads all the way to this corner, but believe me, it does. I'm completely burning right here in this position. As you can see, um, there's really nowhere I can stand without getting burned. So now moving on over to Ancient, one of the best ways to stop the diffuse here is by going right here into this corner and just doing a simple left click right on the corner of this little statue here. That's going to pop straight down and fully molly off this default plant position. And while this may be self-explanatory, if you're ever in cave, you can just aim kind of on the lower end of right here and just do a run throw with the molly and that's going to pop right here and do the exact same thing, fully mollying this off. So now moving on over to Nuke, there aren't a lot of good post-plant Molotov situations for you to be able to use because, hey, it's very close quarters and there aren't a lot of positions that you're going to be in that you can very easily throw Molotovs from. However, if you're stuck here in single and you've planted over here in this safe position, a great way to deal with that is just to aim here towards the left side of this silo and just do a run throw with a molly right at it. And that's going to pop over to here and fully molly this position off and you never even have to expose yourself to it. Moving on over to Mirage, this one's pretty self-explanatory, but any time that you have a post-plant situation while the enemy is diffusing right here on default, a great way to deal with that is just, you don't even have to expose yourself, you can just go right here and just aim towards the top of this little ammo cache and just do a couple of steps with a Molotov and boom, you're gonna completely molly off this area completely. If you prefer a lineup that's a little bit more structured, you can get tucked into this corner and you're actually very safe. They can't see you unless they go pretty deep. And you can just do a simple left click right here where this metal bar intersects with the top of this little part of the roof. And that is gonna do pretty much the exact same thing. So whichever one you prefer. And if your cat may be playing timing behind them or whatever, you can just do a run through at the bottom of this window to molly this off as well. If you've gotten yourself in a tricky situation, that same lineup even works from all the way back here. So say you're playing post back here, you can just do a run through, bank it off the bottom, and that's still going to spread and molly off this default plant position. Now, if it's planted right here, you probably don't want to be cat because obviously it's not planted for you, but it's just worth mentioning that you can just bank it off the bottom of this window and it's going to molly it off. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new from it. If you have any suggestions, for me let me know down in the comments below and if you're wondering why i have a new pair of gloves on it's because i gave the last pair away as a gift to the fans for the last 50,000 subscribers that we've gained so big congrats to the happy potato 7 for winning that giveaway on twitter um, i'll definitely be doing more giveaways in the future especially on twitter so go ahead and follow me there if you're interested anyways guys if you want to support me go ahead and click that skins monkey link down in the description and i'll see you in the next one